Hello, good morning everyone. Today our discussion is QSPM on Strategy Formulation Decision Stage. So this one is also under Strategic Management. So here it goes. When you say QSPM, uh, it means Quantitative Strategic Planning Matrix and it is a high-level strategic management approach for evaluating possible strategies. It provides an analytical method for comparing feasible alternative action in strategic formulation it is the decision stage so before we further discuss QSPM uh, let me first discuss the factor to consider on completing strategic formulation so let's start so here are the matching stage so we will tackle the SWOT matrix the difference between SWOT matrix and those matrix the BCG matrix the space matrix and the, gra the Grand Strategy Matrix and IE Matrix. So let's start with the SWOT Matrix. So when you say SWOT Matrix, uh, it is used to deliberate mostly the strength of the organization. So you discuss the internal environment, under strength and weaknesses, and list down the external environment under opportunities and trends. Okay, so that's SWOT Matrix. When you see those matrix, it's almost the same with the SWOT analysis or the SWOT matrix. But here, uh, it is more, more useful on deliberating the opportunities of the organization. So it is divided into strength or S and with S or W. And the lower part is the opportunities O and threats or letter T. So, with the those matrix, we combine the strength and the opportunities or the SO strategies and we combine the weakness and opportunities or the WO strategies. And then, uh, we, uh, when it comes to strength and threats, we combine it to get the S3 strategies and we can also uh, combine the weaknesses and its strength or the WT strategies. So, that's... So that is those matrix. So next that we have is what we call as the BCG matrix. So when you say uh, BCG, it means Boston Consulting Group, which is founded in 1963. It was a pioneering consulting that introduced influential concepts such as the experience curve and the growth share matrix. In the BCG approach, each of the firm's strategic business units is plotted on a two-dimensional grid, so this one and the other part, in which the axes are relative market share and the industry growth rate. So there are different components of BCG matrix. The first one is the stars. So they are the strategic business units competing in the high growth industries with relatively high market share. This firm have long growth potential and should continue to receive substantial investment funding. The next one is the cash cows or the cows. They are the strategic business unit with high market share in low growth industries. So these units have limited long run potential but represent a source of current cash flow to fund investment in stars, investment in stars, and investment in question marks. Next is we have the question marks. They are the strategic business units competing in high growth industries but having relatively mark, uh, weak market share. Resources should be invested in them to enhance their competitive positions. Next one is we have the dogs. So dogs are strategic business unit with weak market share in low growth industries. Because they have weak position and limited potential, most an analysis recommend that they should be divested. Next is we have the matching state. We have the space matrix. So we divide it in we divided it into conservative, defensive, aggressive, and competitive. So under FS or financial strength. Uh, those are the inter internal strategic factors and CA, which is the competitive advantage. So those two 
are internal strategic functions, so conservative and defensive. While the, the other part, which is on the right side, we have the um, industry strength or the IS and the ES or the environmental stability. So these two or this right side is under external strategic function, which is aggressive and competitive. So, according to Maxipedia.com, a space matrix is a management tool used to analyze a company. So, it is used to determine what type of strategy of a company should undertake. It is more related to the competitive position of the organization. So, here are the samples. So, under financial strength, we discuss the return on investment, the leverage, the liquidity, the working capital, and the cash flow. So, next, also under internal strategic function is the competitive advantage. So, we discuss the market portion or the market share, the, market quali the product quality, the product life cycle, the customer loyalty, the competitive capacity utilization, the technological know-how, and the control over supplies and distribution. Next, uh, function or on the right function is the external strategic function so they are divided into environmental stability and industry strength so under environmental stability uh, it discusses technological changes rate of inflation demand variability price range of competing products barriers to entry into market competitive pressure ease of exit from market price, elasticity of demand, and risk involved in business. While under industry strength, we have the growth potential, the profit potential, the financial stability, the technological know-how, the resource utilization, the ease of entry into market, and productivity capacity utilization. Next is we have the Grand Strategy Matrix. So here, you, you will see the four quadrant. So according to mbaknowledge.com, uh, Grand Strategy Matrix is the instrument for creating alternative and different strategies for the organization. All companies and divisions can be positioned in one of the Grand Strategy Matrix or the four strategic quadrants. The strategy matrix or the grand strategy matrix is based on two dimensions competitive position and market growth okay so we discuss this so under we have quadrant one on the right side and quadrant two on the left side uh, if you will see all the quadrant one is under um, rapid market growth and strong competitive position so they are including the market development, market penetration, product development, forward integration, backward integration, horizontal integration, and related diversification. Seven under quadrant one uh, are based on the rapid growth market and a strong competitive position. Next quadrant or quadrant two is on the left side. So it has a rapid market growth but with a weak competitive position. So, quadrant 2 is under market development, market penetration, product development, horizontal integration, divestiture, and liquidation. Next is quadrant 3, where it divided into weak competitive position and slow market growth. So, under quadrant 3, we have the retrenchment, the related diversification, the unrelated diversification, and divestiture. Quadrant 4 is divided into either a strong competitive position but with slow market growth. So it is under related diversification, unrelated diversification, and joint venture. So after computing the formulation on the matching stage, we are now ready to compute the QSPM. The QSPM incorporates earlier stage details on an organized way to calculate the score of multiple strategies in order to find the best match strategy for the organization. 
The QSPM combined the intuitive thinking of managers with the analytical process to decide the best strategy for the organization's success. So this is QSPM and they are divided into weight to the computation if, uh, to the attractiveness score and then you will get the strategy. So either you use different strategies on matching stage such as Toast Matrix, SWOT Matrix, BCG Matrix, Grand Strategy Matrix, IE, and Space Matrix. So you can choose three strategies and you put it here and then you weight it just like this. And the total of the computation should be 100% or 1. Okay. Then after that, you need to multiply it by the attractiveness score, either 4, 3, 2, 1. And then you multiply the weight times the attractiveness score, and then you will get the strategy number 1 points. Okay. So, attractiveness score are the following. 4 is the highly attractive. 3 is reasonably attractive. 2 is somewhat attractive. And 1 is not attractive. So, after getting all the computation, you may get out the highest and it should not be lower than 2.5. Before we end, let us first discuss the advantages of QSPM. A QSPM provides a framework to prioritize the strategies so it can be used for comparing strategies at any level such as corporate business and functional and a QSPM also integrate the internal and external factors into decision making process a QSPM can be developed for small and large scale profit and non-profit organization However, there is also a limitation or disadvantages when it comes on using the QSPM under strategy formulation. The first one is a limitation of the QSPM is that it can only be as good as the prerequisite information and matching analysis upon which, is, which it is based. Number two, or another limitation is that it requires a good judgment in assigning attractiveness score. Number three, the sum total attractiveness score can be really close such as that final decision is not clear. So, however, like all analytical tools, a QSPM should not dictate decision but rather should be developed as input to the owner's final decision. And that ends our discussion for today. Uh, it is a QSPM, so it is under strategic formulation of strategic management. Again, thank you and God bless. So this is Mang Ching. Bye-bye.